what's a nurse log? Right here is a black birch tree. And there's no other black birch trees anywhere around here. Why is this black birch tree here? So I'm out here in the middle of the swamp and I found this white pine tree that was cut down maybe 30 years ago. When a tree falls over in the woods, we might think of it as such a loss. But to the living things that inhabit this ecosystem, the death of a tree can be an incredible thing. It's something that's been happening here for as long as there have been trees here. And so there are entire communities of organisms that have woven their lives around this process of tree mortality. But as this log breaks down, it forms this really rich substrate. It holds nutrients well, it holds water well. And a lot of times if you dig apart these nurse logs, you see that they're absolutely infused with roots. All of these other trees reaching to grab some of the nutrients that this tree is making available as it decomposes. When we talk about nurse logs, typically we're thinking about this as a seed bed, a place where we grow these species of plants and young trees. But it's also a really important habitat for all kinds of different critters from invertebrates, to salamanders and more. Why is this black birch tree here? And the reason for rotting logs are sometimes called nurse logs is that they're a nursery for certain species of trees and plants. The species that it supports like this black birch are often the species that actually don't have the ability to root through the leaf litter of the soil. So the only reason this black birch is here is because this nurse log has provided this substrate that it can grow on. And as this nurse log rots away, what you'll see is that it'll start to look like this black birch tree has legs because from its perch on this log, it's actually gonna send its roots down into the soil. The log is gonna rot away and it'll just be standing there. 